What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody, each and every one of y'all, is having a blessed day today. Today, we're going to get into some trash. Just my opinion, this shoe is trash, man. Oh, my goodness. What these is? Why they bring these shoes out, man? Why they doing this, man? I guess, I mean, for the hype, I guess somebody gonna like it. I guess somebody gonna go after it. Somebody gonna cop and spend a hard-earned dollars on anything, man. So let's go ahead and check out the shoe. But first, I want y'all to do something for me. I want y'all to click the link below in the description, right below in the description, for my, it's my personal link for Rejuvenator. Like I said, man, so Rejuvenator, Sneaker cleaner works really good, man. The first thing I always show y'all is the Rejuvenator wipes, man. This is this is my go-to right here. This Rejuvenator wipes is my go-to. Like I said, open it up. I'm running out. I might need some more. That's all I got left. Like, <laughs> that's all I got left. I got like five or six of them. I use these every time I come home from rocking a pair of my sneakers. I hit my midsoles with these Rejuvenator wipes wipes and i am almost out of the guy you feel me i gotta do it man so rejuvenator wipes click the link below in the description if y'all saw the video when i cleaned jay's busted um jordan one uh uh kentucky's man them things was messed up i mean it was people saying that i i just put that fresh mud on there found that shoe in the garage he had been playing football that shoe was it was messed up like it was just it was it was it was it was crazy this is my rejuvenator mat right here it looks clean it looks almost brand new this is actually right after i washed those muddy jordan ones on this mat i didn't i never washed it i never put in a washing machine or nothing like that all i did it still had like a lot of the solution and stuff in it so all i did was ran water over it and just kept squeezing it out and it and it's uh, cleaning solution is, is mixed with the water and all that stuff. It's completely like brand new, bro. So you don't even. I was thinking I'm gonna throw this thing in the washing machine. Nope, the mat cleaned itself pretty much, man. So anyway, like I said, uh, click the link below in the description and turn your beaters back into heaters with Rejuvenator, man. Do it. So anyway, man, let's go ahead and get into these terrible sneakers. Actually, I haven't I haven't even opened the box. I just know from pictures I did not like them, man. But uh, let's see how they look in hand. The box is dope. Like the boxes, look, it's just, you get a tan with this box. But that sunshine, all that guy, hey, I'm good. But uh, it's like a whole mirror, bro. So let's go ahead and get a thumbnail with the box. The confused trash face. Uh. Anyway, man, let's go ahead and get to the, you probably can see what they is through that little hole right there. Um, All of the off-whites got holes in them. It's crazy because I thought that this was something dope. Specifically for the Off-White 5 since the Off-White 5 did have these little circular holes in them But now they putting it on everything Virgil is coming out with and I don't know that just kind of like weird to me I thought I mean none of these shoes like the Off-White 4s had holes in the box like none of these shoes Got the little circular holes in it, but Off-White 5s. Why does all the boxes have the holes in it? Y'all comment below and let me know this should retail for $190 and um, it's a silhouette. Like I said, I'm probably biased because I'm not. I'm already not into the silhouette. So an uh, off-white one gonna make it no no better for your boy. I don't buy into the hype like that. As soon as the shoe, although I did try on sneakers out. Let me like completely cap. I did try on sneakers out because I want the you when I, when shoes like this release and I know they hyping and people like them. I'm like maybe I can do trade bait with the shoe or get something I really really want. Like later on down the line, like the off-white fives. The off-white fives looking clean. The new white off-white off -white five, they looking fine. They looking hard. But uh, let's see what these things looking like. So this is the paper. This is a different paper. I ain't never seen this paper right here. Got like off-white, whatever, going on. Logo, action, Virgil, 2020. Got some little, I don't know, caution logo. I don't know what you, I don't know what you wanna call that, man. I don't know what that is, what that is. But the shoe though, man. Shout out to Retro Rick, by the way, man. He uh he let me borrow these to do do the review on them. But um, so I'm not a big dunk person. So let me start by saying that before people get in the comments and be like, Rich, you don't like dunks? No way. This is true. I'm not a big dunk person. I think dunks are for skateboarders, and I don't skateboard. So I mean, it don't have to be that. You can fashionably wear dunks, but I'm never I never been a dunk fan. Does it also have a Nike swoosh on the paper as well? Um, I didn't. I saw these on uh, StockX, and the prices 
weren't crazy. I do believe the price is gonna go up. Cause just like everything else, especially when we're talking about anything limited or hyped, prices do go up. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into these shoes. And let's, I'm gonna do I was gonna do a bow on it. These heavy too. I ain't even gonna do no bow. I can't. Everything I do a bow on is something that I would actually wear, and I would not wear these mechanical looking shoes right here. Some people can probably drip them, just not your boy Rich. You feel me? So there it is, right there. The, the Nike Air Rubber Dunk Off White. Um, these look. It's like a little a Nintendo Switch right here. This little green part look like some kind. I said these look like future mechanical shoes. Tron, the movie Tron comes to mind. Also, Super Mario Brothers. This a movie came out in the '80s. Yeah, they look like robot shoes to me. Um, kind of mechanical looking. <laughs> I keep saying that, but got a lot of rubbers and got a lot of got some suede going on. Like I said, a lot of shoes came out this year that look like this. <laughs> it remind me of. Like in the 80s when they was making movies about the future, what the future would look like, a lot of their stuff, this looked like the type of tech that they had when they thought the future was going <laughs> kind of clunky a little bit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not really feeling them. Um, yeah, look at all that. Like, it's just, it got gears and stuff going on on it. The Halo shoe, uh, Metal Gear Solid shoe. Um, but um, you got your little signature, little orange piece right here uh, for Off-White. Got the Nike Air on the back with the suede going on. Um, got your, you know, your regular off-white stuff that be on every off-white shoot, a little writing off-white for Virgil, Oregon, all that stuff right there. Um, to go on the shoe, man. I wouldn't wear these, but I know a lot of people can probably pull these off and drip them. Just, just not for me. Not only the fact that I'm not really even a big dunk fan, but I'm not a fan of this type of shoe that just got a lot. I mean, they ain't gonna say a lot going on, but it's just... It's not me. It's not for me. Hey, simple as I can say it, it's not for me. Uh, like I said, prices on StockX don't look too crazy right now. Y'all comment below if y'all was going to go after this shoe, you liked it or whatever. Here's the other shoe right here. Got your signature off-white hang tag, orange. This one has kind of got like some some felt material on it, almost like suede or something. Like they tried to make put some buttery suede on the hang tag. You know what I'm saying? Um... I know, I, I like the inside, though. I like the fact that the inside looked like the paper. I don't know, that's about it. I wouldn't wear these. Not for me. Not for 190 And they heavy. Y'all comment below, I ain't never really owned a pair of dunks. Are skateboard shoes or dunks supposed to be this heavy? Like, these are some robot stompers for real, shawty. Robot stompers, clank, clank. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, man. Y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think of these. I want to do a little review because I saw them on pictures and I was like, maybe if I see them in hand, I won't think they is trash, but they are as trash. But now that I see them in hand, I do not change my energy whatsoever on these right here. One thing I will say I like about the shoes is the colors. I really dig the colors. The black with that, um, what they was calling that green. It was the same green that was in the Prestos I reviewed. Strike, green strike. I do like that green stripe. That black with that green and that hit of orange, I think that colorway would be dope on almost every other shoe. But these are strictly Robocop um, stompers right here. So that's just me. That's my opinion. I didn't really make this video to dog the shoe out. I just made the video to give my honest and 100% humble opinion. Appreciate y'all for watching it, man. Like I said, click the link below in the um, description. That is my link for Rejuvenator. You want to turn your beaters back in the heaters, man. Use my link below in the description. I appreciate y'all for watching. Comment below and tell me what y'all think about these off-white dunks, man. Some of the off-white dunks that came before, they was a little better, but... You know, they was all leather. These right here, I don't really know if it was a specific history behind it to make them look robotic like that. I don't know. Y'all tell me. I didn't do no research. So, anyway, I appreciate y'all for watching. Hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them. Keep watching my video, because that's what I'm here for. Go Mike, Rich, no hype, just kick. Jordan, six, eight and nine, fit. Hottest, trends. Clank, clank, cleanse, bless, yes, I'm